up with a small change diet really because of my patients. I work with my patients every single day to help them meet their weight loss goals, their health goals. And I decided that from working with them, I saw that it was always the little small changes that they did that ended up making a really, really big difference in their lives. And I thought, you know, this is different. This is not like every other diet book. And the reason for that is because my patients, and just like now the reader, they can take these changes and take them in any type of order they want. There's no start to finish. There's no you must do chapter one, then chapter three, because you know what? None of us are the same. We're all different. And I felt this book really needed to take a broad concept, but individualize it for each and every reader. I'm always asked, do you have to do all 10 steps in order to lose weight? Not really. I've seen huge success from patients who've only had to change three things. They've only done three of the changes, and boom, lots of weight has come off. I think the thing to realize is these 10 steps were created because I have seen overall these 10 steps are needed for overall success in weight loss. However, lots of people have already done some of these steps so they don't need to incorporate them. So for that person, maybe it's just four changes and they meet their goals. Where somebody else, yes, it might be 10 changes in order to meet their goals, but bottom line is they need to eventually create the changes, stick with them, and then they will be successful. People venture out to lose pounds and pounds and pounds, and then they feel, huh, I kind of come up short. I'm not meeting my goals of what I wanted. What I always say to them is because you've made too big a goal. Forget about losing 30 pounds, 40 pounds, 50 pounds. Focus on losing one pound. One pound a week. That's what you need for healthy weight loss. And then, once you've done that, eventually the pounds, they start to add up. So if you think about it, 52 weeks in a year, that's 52 pounds. The other thing that I encourage people to do is to really try to change the behavior. They might get a little frustrated, but that's okay. The winner in the game of weight loss is not who loses their weight the quickest. It's the person that keeps it off the longest.